okay guys welcome to my channel if you're new or if you're new here i just want to say thank you for watching this video but do me a favor watch it all the way to the end before we get started do me a favor and subscribe to my youtube channel like and at the end of this video if you like the content that i posted make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop me a little comment so today i am going to be styling this crimped wig that i got from the supply store now this is the first time that i have ever worn a synthetic wig so bear with me this is the first time y'all watching this and this is the first time i'm doing it so we're gonna get this shit together and we're gonna see how it turned out okay i'll show y'all the name of the wig and the package that it came in this is a crimped waves with hd lace and it's by by magic lace okay so this is how it look color is dusty pink i saw it on the mannequin head and i'm like okay i like the color i usually just wear black so oh this is new to me synthetic wigs a whole lot of different color that ain't my thing but we're gonna do it today you see that yeah so yeah this is what it is don't mind me you know this is the ghetto okay the ghetto so this <laughs> hold on Took my breath away because it looks so good. So yeah, this is the package name. Okay, you see it? It came in that. And like I say, the color is dusty pink. Now you can let me get it close. You can see the little pink shimmery lights up in there. Okay, lace. And this is the you know the inside of the wig. The only thing is that I didn't pay attention to is like, it's a full front lace, but it's like, you can't change the part. And so this is the only part you're gonna get. Plus the, the part, so. That's, mm, eh. Anyway, so we gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so usually, I swear to God, it seems like every time I start recording, I forget everything I'm supposed to do. I forget all the steps and I just do everything wrong. It's crazy. So I don't want to cut these off. So I'm still going to just like take both sides and I'm going to tie it in the back. And like, not a real tight knot, but you know, just to keep it back there. Because I like to have something back there to grip my wig because <laughs> I'm bald here. Okay, so now I'm going to use this. This is uh, Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. I'm just going to throw some of this on top of my lace. You know, just to have a, a darker color. Now, all of these steps right here is the same steps that I would do or I would take if I was uh, putting on a human hair wig. So I'm not doing nothing no different, I'm trying not to cut no corners. And usually with my human hair wigs, I don't even really glue those down. Sometimes I will, but most of the time I just use like the little temporary sprays just to hold it in place for like two days, maybe three. I don't have to do too much with the, the lace because I'm going to go in with this tinted spray. And I'm going to spray the inside of this lace right here. Spray this. Ooh. Oh, she fancy. She dark skin now. <laughs> she dark. And I'm not bleaching no knots. I'm not doing that with no synthetic wig. So this is going to have to make it do what it do. Most of this stuff is going to be cut off anyway. So yeah, that's that. So you can see, you know, that it's a whole. That shit works good. Let me see. Put on my wrist. Yes. I forgot to mention, because I'm looking at the wig right now. It don't have no combs in the inside. So the only thing it has is these little straps. So you need to go ahead and, you know, adjust it as tight or as loose as you want it to be. It's weird that the dog on wig don't have no combs in it. So I like my wigs to be tight, okay? I want to make sure that they is not going nowhere. And I'm gonna make sure I link everything that I use in the description uh, box below, the name of the wig and all the products that I use. I'm just gonna take some of the 
is messy. Okay, I'm gonna have to mess this bad boy. So once I get it in place and I get everything like Okay, so once I get my part like centered where I want it to be, I'm just going to pull this lace backwards. Go through. And then I'm gonna spray this on my head. Take this wax stick and I want this all this to go back. Not a lot. And I'm gonna put some in the middle too because I'm gonna use my flat iron right here. Take this thing, the same little thing that I had on earlier, and I'm gonna wrap this around my. Ooh, that thing is hot. Yes, it's hot and it's ready. So I don't know how much heat I could put up on this thing on thing. So, yeah, if it melt, baby, if it melt. Oop, I'm really gonna hurt a sizzle. So this middle part is bothering me. So I'm gonna take my concealer. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I'm gonna take this and I need to open up this purse. So. take this off all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off I'm gonna do my baby hairs first so pull these down It's glueless and then it's synthetic. So yeah, we trying to we trying to make it work. I cut my baby hairs down to like an angle, and then I'm gonna use this auto body mousse. Hopefully, this work on synthetic. I usually use this on. Maybe I gotta use some real gel. I think I'm gonna have to use this. There's gotta be uh, cream stuff. Cause you got baby hair something like that. They're a little too thick for, um, yeah, there, there we go. There we go. Yes. Okay, all right, I'm seeing it. I'm gonna blow dry it. I'll be damn if the thing come down. I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses powder. I need this thing to try to give me some Scalpiana. Okay, so now to actually get into the hair part, I'm using this, it's called On Natural uh, Wave and Curl. Bring it down 
so y'all can actually see. Oh, I like it. All right, y'all, here it is, here it is. I've been done, I tried to finesse it as much as I can finesse it. And, okay, so here's my honest opinion about this wig right here. Um, The hair itself is beautiful. The texture is beautiful. The camera honestly is not giving it justice as far as the color. Like you all can't see the color. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's a dusty pink. So it got, you know, it's black at the roots. It has blonde and pink streaks so i really really like the color i really like the hair pattern um it actually feels good now what i don't like about this wig is that this is it like you cannot change the part but that's my fault i should have paid attention when i got it um but that's not you know that's not the the deal breaker i can work with that need to find out how to finesse the wig a little more because I want like some volume up here or something and it seemed like it's just giving me flat. And what else? What else? Oh, the fact that there's no combs on the inside of the wig, that kind of bothers me a little bit because I like, I really only use the back comb. Well, I'll take that back. I use the back comb and a sag because I like to, you know, secure the wig under right here and then i definitely like to secure it under the back but other than that i really really like the the wig i really like the texture of it like the color is amazing but this to be my first time honestly it was fairly simple you know it wasn't the hardest thing especially if you already installed like the human hair wig it's really no difference i i personally wouldn't use um a full bonding glue, like Bold Hold or Ghost Bond. Me personally, I wouldn't use those glues with this type of wig because it's synthetic. So this is something that I want to be able to put on and take off at nighttime. That way I can spray it with my detangler. I can hang it up, you know, and it'll keep, you know, it'll keep that fresh look. I definitely wouldn't want to sleep in anything like this. But this is a good wig for a, Shit, I'm running out the house. I'm going somewhere. I want to look cute real quick. Or I want just a whole completely different look. This is definitely, definitely it. Ah, I love it. So thank you all for watching this video. Like I said, this is my first time installing a synthetic wig. Um, and I like it. So subscribe to my channel. Like and comment. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because I got a few more synthetic wigs that I'm going to post I'm going to try on and I'm going to let you all see how they look. So thank you for watching. Bye.